Welcome back to the Awaza UK YouTube channel where today we are taking a look at the Biomaster. This is our external aquarium filter with a built-in heater, pre-filter and a combination of biological and mechanical filtration. There's four models on this range, each available with or without the built-in heater. You've got the 250, the 350, the 600 which we're looking at today and the 850. This filter is designed to be kept underneath your aquarium, drawing water in through the inlet valve here, through the pre-filter and the heater into the main body where the media is kept, and then back up through the outlet pipe back into your aquarium. So let's take a closer look around the outside of the Biomaster. On the top here, we have these three modules, the first of which are our inlet and outlet hoses. They draw water in from the aquarium and place it back once it's been through the filter. You can shut these off by turning this switch here to the unlocked position. This will shut off the water flow entirely, meaning any maintenance you need to perform on the entirety of the filter can be carried out. The next module on the Biomaster is the pre-filter. Now this is going to remove solids and debris from the water before it enters the main body of the filter. This is going to mean less cleaning for the main body over time, as the pre-filter is easily removed for cleaning in your kitchen sink. If you're in the initial setup phase of your filter, you can press down on this button here to start the siphon and get water flowing from the aquarium into the filter. If the hoses are in the locked position, you'll be unable to unlock the pre-filter module to stop water from flying out while the hoses are running. So to remove the pre-filter, we have to move the hoses to the unlocked position, move the pre-filter switch to the unlocked position, lift and release. And that is our pre-filter which you now take away for cleaning. To access the inside of this plastic tubing, simply twist here and release. And here we can see our blue sponges, which can easily be removed for cleaning. We can then return this to the plastic tubing and return it to the filter. The last module on the top of the Biomaster is our integrated heater. Now on the Thermo versions, this will already come pre-installed. However, you are able to integrate this into the non-Thermo versions. To remove this, we recommend switching off at least 15 minutes beforehand to give it time to cool down. This goes for any maintenance you want to perform on the Biomaster. Lift up the handle here, twist and release. This is one of our standard heat up aquarium heaters, which can easily be replaced when the time comes. If you wish to run your Biomaster without a heater, we have this blanking plug, which will come pre-installed on the non-thermo versions and included in the box of the thermo versions. To install this, simply place here and twist. With the pre-filter removed and this switch in the unlocked position, you'll be unable to return the hoses module to a locked position. This is to prevent water from re-entering the system whilst there are modules exposed. To remove the hoses module, simply grip here and remove. Whilst this is in the unlocked position, no water will come flowing out of here even whilst it's been separated. Now let's take a look inside the main body of the Biomaster. We have this sturdy handle on top, which can move around the filter even whilst it's full of water. And you'll notice on the side of this handle, there are these small lips. And this is so that while the handle is down, even if you unclip all of the blue clips, you'll be unable to remove the head. So to remove the head, turn the handle to the upright position, unclip all of the blue clips, and remove the head. Now this motor unit also contains the pump and the impeller which can be removed for easy maintenance. Inside the main body of the Biomaster we have a selection of sponges. Starting from the bottom we have our plastic Helix media. Now we recommend cleaning this in your aquarium water so not to disrupt the beneficial bacteria that is growing inside there. Next up we have our medium sponges which can be changed out for coarse or fine sponges entirely dependent on your aquarium needs and your preferences. And finally, we have our orange sponge. This is our fine sponge, which removes the finer pieces of debris and polishes the water before it enters back into the aquarium. We can now reintroduce these baskets back into the main body of the Biomaster. Reassembly is very easy. Take the head of the Biomaster and place it back on top, ensuring the two circular modules here are facing the front where the logo is. This means that your modules are gonna be easily reintroduced back into the system. Return these clips to their locked position. 
we can now start reintroducing modules back into the system, starting with the heater. Place that back in and twist. Then the pre-filter. Return these switches to the lock position. And finally, the hose module. Return this to the lock position as well. We'll start the water flow back into your filter from your aquarium. If it doesn't start immediately, a couple of pushes on the siphon pump will get the water flowing. Inside the box of the Biomaster, you also get this box of accessories. The first of which is four meters of hose. This is designed for the outlet fittings here. We recommend cutting this to the minimum length possible to reduce any kinks or loops inside your aquarium cabinet. Then we have these spray bars for redistribution of the water inside your aquarium. An assortment of aquarium fixings and the blanking plug we talked about earlier. We also have these small rubber feet which go on the bottom of the Biomaster to reduce vibration inside your aquarium cabinet. These can be easily installed in the small holes at the bottom here. And that is our product rundown video on the Biomaster. Which product would you like us to do next? Please let us know down in the comments. Also, be sure to like this video and subscribe so you never miss another one. And for more information on the Biomaster, be sure to visit the Owaza website.